necessarily the length of the lever that we're using, but the distance from the place that we're accessing on the body to the place where we have the disconnect. So I'm gonna show you using the hair as a long lever. I can use it as a short lever or a long lever. I would use it as a short lever if I wanted to access something through the cranium, a disconnect through the cranium, or even in the dura, I would consider that a short lever. Uh, once we get into disconnects through the brain, then we're probably, it's like a medium lever. And then once we're in the cervicals, down through the chest, abdomen, in through the pelvis, then we're talking about quite a long lever. You can do all of this from the hair. And there are a few things that I really recommend, which we will learn when we are together. So what I'm gonna have you do is just notice how as I pull, it's going through different areas of the body. So first we're gonna take the slack out of the, the scalp and very quickly we're in the dura. Now we're down through the sinuses into the cervicals. Let's see how I can access through if I have one side versus another. And now we're down into the apex of the lungs. Now I'm getting to a point where I don't have access anymore to go further down. So I'm gonna change the angle at which I'm accessing. And again, I'm gonna take the slack out of the scalp and this is going to get me very quickly into the middle of the lungs, down to the bottom of the lungs, down into the abdomen, and all the way into the pelvis. I'm using the hair as a long lever and I'm just gently pulling through the scalp and then we're in the dura and then we're going through the cervicals and then we're coming up a little bit of resistance through the chest there. Nice deep breath. Okay, now we're at the bottom of the lungs. And now we're through the hips. Now you can go into the legs, but probably it would be more efficient to just go to the legs. <laughs>